NHMRC has made these modules to help maintain Australia's reputation as a great place to conduct quality clinical research. I've invited some leading researchers who have been involved in conducting clinical trials. Well, in medicine and medical research, we have lots of hypotheses. We make lots of observations, but we need to turn that into uh, innovations and new treatments and treatment strategies for our patients. So the way we do that is using clinical trials. Why is it important to conduct research ethically and with integrity? What are the main guiding ethical principles that apply to research? And what is a typical pathway for submitting an application and obtaining ethics approval for a clinical trial? Ethics review is essentially the judicious balancing between the benefits of research and the harms or risks of the research and we always make sure that the benefits outweigh the harms or the risks. Understanding research governance is a critical part of making governance more effective and efficient by applying good governance practice, knowing where you fit and playing your part, and communicating effectively with other stakeholders. Once authorisation has been obtained, essentially the clinical trial can commence. So by that I mean that participants can be enrolled and recruited into the project. There'll be a number of administrative tasks that also need to be considered. There'll be ongoing monitoring of the project, and the monitoring is a shared responsibility of the principal investigator, the Human Research Ethics Committee, the institution and the sponsor. Whether you're in the thick of the research itself, working in a research office, or wanting to find out more on how clinical trials are conducted in Australia, these modules will help.